hello and welcome to another video with intech coding clinic and in this video i'm going to show you how we can create product expiry alerts in ms excel it's going to be very simple now i have this data set here i'll leave the link in the video description where you can download this and then modify it to suit what you need okay supposing you own a product store and you would want to keep track of your product to know when each and every product will expire this template is for you okay we're going to be using some few formulas to keep track of that as you can see we have the same product expiry alerts and then we have this today giving us the current date okay and this keeps changing each day okay as it stands now today is 18th tomorrow it will be 19th so the date keeps changing based on the time of the system and this is the product list here we have the serial number of the product the name of the product then the due date the dates on which the product will expire and here we're going to put a formula to keep track of the number of days left for the product to expire and then here to check the status using another formula in conditional formatting so what we'll be doing here is that we're going to be determining the number of days left for the product to expire and what is going to happen is that if the product has more than 30 days then we say it's on time if it has less than 30 days then we say it's getting to expire if it has probably a negative value here then we say the product has finally expired and then we use conditional formatting here to keep track of that okay so to start with let's get a formula for the uh, days okay so to make sure that you have the date well formatted you can do that by selecting the date range here and then what we are going to do is to go to data then you go to a uh, text to columns here then you choose this delimited then you go to next then here you choose other then you go to next so you pick up here you just choose select date and then you choose your date format from here and then you click finish to make sure you get the date um well formatted but for as it stands now my date is well formatted based on the day month and then the year and this one as well so here we'll just enter a formula to keep track of what the number of days left for the product to expire so to do that we just type equal to here now what we'll be doing is to keep track of um this particular range then mine is this one so we're going to be just select this one here and just lock it up just press uh, f4 on the keyboard just to lock it up to make that ring absolute so once you are done just press enter just check the formula from the formula but you can see how it looks like so you just drag this to auto fill to get for the rest so as you can see this particular product has long way for it to expire this one has expired this one too will soon expire this one has expired this one has expired 141 days ago this one 64 days ago this one has still time to expire this one has also expired 85 days ago and this one is also getting to expire and this one still has more time to expire and this one has also expired almost one that is 135 days ago so now to keep track of the status column that will help us check for easy check select here and type equal to then you open your sorry just if and you open your parenthesis now then if this particular range what we are going to do is that if it's less than zero the value here is less than zero then open your inverted commas then we say the product is what expired okay so we say expired and then we close that and then comma then if then we open the parenthesis once again if the same range that is d6 again d6 sorry d6 is also still and uh, for now we say less or equal to um that is 30 okay we're going to use 30 here then we would want to say that it is getting to expire so we say expired okay it's expired soon then we terminate that here then the last one if then the same range d6 sorry uh if d6 for now if it is greater than 30 what we are going to say is it's greater than 30 then what we are going to say is that there is still time so we say on time okay meaning there is still time left for it to expire so we just close our parenthesis and then press enter so as you can see with this product still left with what 119 days for it to expire so let's drag this to autofill for the rest 
so you can see this one has expired it has a negative value here this one has also expired negative value here this one has also expired negative value here expired this one is yet to expire because the value here is less than 30 so we say it's expired very soon to expire this one has also expired this one is on time so we're going to use conditional formatting to highlight the various ranges for easy identification so we select this range here and then quickly we go to the home page sorry the home tab then from there just click on this you go to highlight so so we go to equal to so what we are going to say if this range if any of the ranges is equal to let's say on time let's start with on time so on on time then we'd want to format it to um so we go to custom format then we choose uh, fill then we'd want to give it green meaning it's yet to expire and then our font color should be probably the black and then we click on ok and then that is done so make sure it is still selected we go back to conditional formatting again then we come here equal to and here all we are going to say is if it is expired soon expired soon then what we would want to do is to do custom formatting as well then that should take fill should take yellow color and then the font should also take probably black and then we click on ok for that as well make sure it is still selected if it has expired as usual we already know the color so we say equal to let's say if it's expired sorry it's expired then what we would want to do is to give it custom format so we select this then we go to fill then from here we would want to give it red color then the fonts would want to give it um probably yellow or white color wouldn't be bad inside right so you just click on that and then click on ok so with this you can see that we can now keep track of what the product expiry details in our store without any problem without any issues so with this like i said i'll leave the link to the to the template inside the video description below you can check the description box and then you can download it and then modify it you just enter a product here the names of the product here then you check the due date on each and every product and then you enter that here and then you just copy down this formula here as well as this one here and do the conditional formatting to meet your requirements so basically that is that about this video if you like the video please consider subscribing to the channel to press the bell icon so that you get notified anytime we upload videos like this thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye